So if you're seeing a lot of motion in your downstrokes in the left hand, um, what you said is correct. Uh, there's nothing wrong with like thinking about using your uh, the your top two fingers to like kind of stop the motion of the stick. You just have to make sure that you're not like applying extra downward force though. Um, whenever you stop the stick, right? Since there's so much rebound, all the downstroke is is you're absorbing all of that energy that wants to come back up, right? And to do that, you don't need to push energy down. You just have to kind of remain neutral and let your hands kind of just absorb that shock. Um, if you want to know what that's supposed to feel like, um, you can get used to like playing on a pillow or something, right? Because the pillow is going to absorb all of that energy for you. So you kind of get a feel for like what the macro motions are supposed to feel like. This is going to feel different because your hands are absorbing most of the energy, but it shouldn't feel super different. Um, Another thing that you might want to check in is your bead pathway. Like if you're uh, approaching this like at kind of like a, an angle, that kind of means um, your bead is going to like rebound in the, in the opposite direction that it came in, right? If it's outward or if it's inward, which can also create some extra motion. Um, yeah, it, it, you probably want to try to do two things. I was messing around with this earlier, um, kind of going from a, a triple chord note. Into like a pair little isolation, and try refining that motion. Just kind of get uh, like both types of downstrokes. We're not always just playing active type, right? Usually we have like like kind of going into a pair little thing, which is um, a downstroke. So yes, you're correct, but I don't know. Hope that hope that helped.